Hi, I'm Nicholas. I'm going to briefly introduce you to some of the changes that we've made in HTML5 Boilerplate version 4.0. We made a number of changes, including improvements to the CSS and JavaScript, the addition of a changelog, proper licensing under the MIT license, and the addition of bundled documentation, making it easy to get offline access to information and ensuring that you can always read documentation that corresponds to the version of HTML5 Boilerplate that you downloaded. Let's start by taking a look at the contents of our index.html file. We've made it easier for you to get started with this template by removing many of the HTML comments that used to be here. None of the information has been lost, it's just been moved to, into the bundled documentation. You'll also notice that we've separated normalized CSS from the rest of the HTML5 boilerplate specific CSS. We've updated modernizer and we've updated jQuery. Looking at the CSS in more detail, you can see that we've included version 1 of normalized CSS, which includes normalizations for legacy browsers such as IE6 and IE7. Separating normalized CSS from the rest of the CSS makes it easier to track which version of normalized is being used, or to switch it out for a reset if that's your preference. The rest of the CSS is HTML5 boilerplate specific, and it's now formatted in a way that makes it much easier to read and understand. We've got some useful base styles, various helper classes, some placeholder media queries to get you started with responsive design, and some good default print styles. Another area we've improved is the JavaScript that protects legacy browsers from stray references to console methods, such as console log. It will no longer affect the reported line position in your logs. One of the major changes that we've made is that we've now moved and updated all of the code related documentation to the new doc directory. When you download a version of HTML5 boilerplate, you can rely on offline access to accurate information. Each part of the project is documented in some way. There's also a guide to help you get started with contributing to HTML5 boilerplate and a list of useful tips and ways to customize the template to your specific needs. For a full list of changes, you can read the change log. You can download the latest version of HTML5 boilerplate from the website. And if you'd like to keep up to date with the latest changes and help improve the project, then you can star or watch the project on GitHub. That's all for now. Thanks.